On November 19, 1863, the Baltimore Sun was among the newspapers that had sent reporters to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to cover the dedication of the National Cemetery. The featured speaker at the event that day was the Honorable Edward Everett. Everett was an esteemed politician, a clergyman, and one of the most renowned orators of the day. Also scheduled to speak at the ceremony was President Abraham Lincoln. In its November 20th edition, the Sun's coverage of the dedication focused almost exclusively on Mr. Everett's address, which it described as an exceedingly elaborate and ornate production, embellished by classical allusions, brilliant rhetorical passages, and historical parallels illustrative of the existing conflict in the United States. The paper's story included a transcript of much of Mr. Everett's speech, which was reported to have gone on for more than two hours. It was only in the final paragraph of the Sun's story that a reference to Lincoln's speech was made. The paragraph began, At the conclusion of Mr. Everett's address, the dedicatory ceremony was appropriately performed by President Lincoln. It was in the following day's paper, on November 21, 1863, that the Sun printed the text of President Lincoln's address. After the final sentence of the speech, the Sun's article noted, parenthetically, that the address had been met with long, continued applause.